So when we get this wet, water's gonna start moving this way. This epoxy is kind of an embarrassment. I prefer to freewheel it. I am smoothing it out. You will find yourself holding on to a smoking margarine container, wondering what to do. Hi, I'm C.G. Stevens. I'm a director here at North Waters and Landscape Wilderness Programs. We're a canoe tripping outfit, so um, paddles are a key part of our gear. One of the things we really need to do is pay attention to paddle care and paddle maintenance. I'm going to talk about that today. There's a few simple things you can do to make your paddle last uh, for many, many years. Let's look at what happens after a paddle gets a little bit of use. Now, if you come in close, you can see that the tip of this paddle, we've worn off all the finish and it's mushroomed here. Water's gonna start moving this way. You know, wood sucks it up along the grain, right? Capillary action. And as that water comes up, it's gonna cause the wood to swell. And I'll be going along paddling on my trip thinking, well, that's okay, my blade's a little wider, maybe that makes me a better paddler. But then when we take this out of the water and don't use it for a little bit, the water starts migrating out and the wood starts shrinking. So now the wood's shrinking back in this way, but what happens is the water leaves the end of the paddle here faster than it can leave here. So it creates this tension and the paddle will crack. Okay, that's the last thing we want to happen because once you get a crack in your paddle, uh, there are things you can do to fix it. You can fill it with epoxy, but it's kind of the beginning of the end and it's easily avoided. What I'll do to clean up the blade, take my sandpaper, fold it in half, tear it. So I got half a sheet, then fold the half sheet into thirds. There's other ways to do this, but um, this is what I like. I'm gonna sand the shaft of this paddle and this is gonna clean up this mushrooming I'm just gonna skip ahead. So once I get this nicely rounded, then I'm gonna come, and if I've got splintering on the edge, same thing, I'm gonna sand it off. So I've finished the shaping work I wanna do with the 80 grit. Now with my 120, which is finer, I'm gonna sand the blade of the paddle. And what I'm doing here, I am smoothing it out and I'm providing a whole lot of tiny scratches because a shiny finish like this, an additional coat of varnish isn't gonna stick. I'm gonna sand up to the top of the blade and then I'm gonna continue up and just sand the rest of the shaft and the grip to smooth them out. So this is my whole paddle sand it okay and then I'm going to use just a little bit of paint thinner and a rag to clean the sanding residue off my paddle okay not a lot I don't want to get it really wet so I've wiped off my paddle and it's clean when you work with epoxy it's good to wear a pair of gloves epoxy is not like really terrible stuff but you generally don't want to get it on your skin and it takes a long time to wear out so I got my gloves on if I was just maintaining one or two paddles you can go to the hardware store and get five minute epoxy West system simple you get a pair of pumps I'm gonna mix one pump of each okay really important when you mix epoxy this is the most important thing is to really mix it thoroughly if you don't get a thorough mix your epoxy won't harden and then you'll be really sad. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coat the end of my paddle lightly with unthickened epoxy. That's going to absorb best into the end of the paddle. This isn't a gob epoxy on kind of routine. This is a really thin coat kind of routine. And I'm gonna put a little along the edge here. This paddle's gotten beat up along the edges, that epoxy is gonna help. Now I'm gonna thicken my epoxy up a little. And this is uh, Cabosil, it's available in small containers. It's um, 
fumed silica. I want to get to a consistency that is something like peanut butter. You can see I'm not quite there because if I turn this up, this will just goop down on its own. It's a little too thin. So I'm going to work incrementally, put a little more cabosil in. Now you can see this, this epoxy will stand up on its own without sagging. I'm going to just try and do a really neat job with my stick. It's okay for me to have a little bit sticking off the end of the paddle, okay? And this is the kind of thing with practice, you'll do a better and better job. But the important thing is that right in here, I've got a smooth transition so I don't have to do a lot of sanding to have nice shape to the blade. There's many uh, types of varnish on the market um, and there's other wood finishes too. I like to use a good quality spar varnish on my paddles. You can buy, you don't even need a can this big, you can buy um, a pint of varnish and it'll be good. Now varnish, I'm having a hard time opening this can. Here it comes. There's a couple different kinds of brushes. You can use a good quality bristle brush is a great brush to use for varnish. You can also just use a disposable foam brush. These actually work uh, surprisingly well. So varnish wants to be applied in thin coats. I don't want to have too much, right? Because if I have too much, the finish won't cure properly and it really won't adhere underneath. More thin coats are better than one thick coat. And then I'm going to hang this paddle back up to dry. So now we'll go to the next step in the process. Now we're going to oil the shaft, okay? Before I start with the linseed oil, I want people to keep this in mind. Linseed oil, once you soak a rag with it, is subject to spontaneous combustion. So when we're done with this rag that we're going to use with linseed oil, we're going to soak it in water and then we're going to hang it out flat to dry. So here, I'm just going to get a little bit of linseed oil and I'm going to treat my paddle shaft. And then I'm going to take off the excess. Because if I were to leave this with a thick coat of linseed oil, it would not all be absorbed into the wood and it would just gum up and be kind of sticky and, and gooey. I like the look of an oiled shaft like this. It doesn't look as brand new and fancy as a uh, Varnish shaft, so if you prefer varnish shaft, uh, go ahead and do so. So that's the treatment. Now, what's next? I'm not actually going to put this rag down when I'm done. Because one of the things I know about myself is I sometimes get distracted. I sometimes have a short attention span. Okay, so I'm going to go right now before I go any further. And I'm going to go rinse this in water and hang it out to dry, okay? So that's it for paddle maintenance. I hope this video has been helpful, okay? That's it. If, uh, if you sign up for a program and you're far enough in advance, you'll be lucky enough to get a paddle like this. These are uh, ash paddles made for us um, down in uh, southern Ontario.